Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed questions from page 20 and 21. Today, we are going to discuss the remaining questions. Next problem. In the figure, the diagonals of a quadrilateral split it into four triangles. The areas of three of them are shown in the picture. Calculate the area of the whole quadrilateral. Let us look at the figure at first. Let me give a name for convenience. Now look at triangle ACD. DP is the line from the vertex D to the side AC. It divides the opposite side AC and the area of the triangle in the same ratio. That means the ratio between the areas of these two triangles and the ratio between these two parts are same. So let us find the ratio between the areas of these two triangles. That is area of triangle CDP is to area of triangle ADP. Area of triangle CDP is 30 and area of triangle ADP is 60. So the ratio is 30 is to 60. Simplifying we get 1 is to 2. Since the ratio between the areas of these two triangles is 1 is to 2, the ratio between CP and AP is also 1 is to 2. Now look at triangle ABC. BP is the line from the vertex B to the opposite side AC. So it divides the opposite side AC and the area of the triangle in the same ratio. We know the ratio of CP and AP is 1 is to 2. Therefore, the ratio of the areas of these two triangles is also 1 is to 2. That is, area of triangle CBP is 2, area of triangle ABP is 1 is to 2. Now we know area of triangle CBP is 40 cm square. The ratio between the areas of these two triangles is 1 is to 2. Means if the ratio of this triangle is 1, then the ratio of this triangle is 2. Or the ratio of this triangle is 2 times the ratio of this triangle. Since the area of triangle CBP is 40 cm square, the area of triangle ABP is 80 cm square. Now we have got the areas of all the four triangles. To find the area of the quadrilateral, it is enough to add all these areas together. That is 30 plus 60 plus 40 plus 80. And that is equal to 210 centimeter square. That is the area of this quadrilateral is 210 centimeter square. Next problem. In this picture, the horizontal lines at the top and bottom are parallel. Prove that the yellow and red triangles are of the same area. Let us look at the figure, give a name. Here it is given that these two lines are parallel. We have to prove that the areas of these two triangles are equal. Consider triangle ABD. From that, if you subtract the area of triangle ABP, what remains? The area of triangle ADP or the area of the yellow triangle. That is area of triangle ADP equal to area of triangle ABD minus area of triangle ABP. Now look at triangle ABD and triangle ABC. Their areas are same. Why? They have same base and the third vertices are on a line parallel to the base. So the areas of these two triangles ABD and ABC are same. So instead of area of triangle ABD, let me write area of triangle ABC. So this is equal to area of triangle ABC minus area of triangle ABP. Now what is area of triangle ABC minus area of triangle ABP? This is area of triangle ABC. From that, if you subtract area of triangle ABP, we get 
area of this red triangle or area of triangle BCP. That means area of triangle ADP and area of triangle BCP are same or the yellow and red triangles are of the same area. Next problem. In the figure, the diagonals of a trapezium split it into four triangles. The area of the yellow triangle is 10 square centimeters and the area of the green triangle is 20 square centimeters. What is the area of the whole trapezium? Let us look at the figure. Give a name. Now ABCD is a trapezium therefore AB and CD are parallel. And in the last problem we have seen that these two triangles are of the same area. Therefore, area of triangle ADP equal to area of triangle BCP. That means area of triangle BCP is also equal to 10 cm square. Now look at triangle ABD. The line from the vertex A to the opposite side BD divides the opposite side BD and the area of the triangle in the same ratio. That is, the ratio between the areas of these two triangles and the ratio between these two parts is same. Let us find the ratio between these two triangles at first. Area of triangle ADP is to area of triangle ABP equal to 10 is to 20 and that is equal to 1 is to 2. Therefore, DP is to PB is also equal to 1 is to 2. Now look at triangle BCD. The line from the vertex C to BD divides BD and the area of the triangle in the same ratio. That means the ratio between the areas of these two triangles and the ratio of these two parts are same. The ratio of these two parts DP is to PB is 1 is to 2. Therefore, the ratio between the areas of these two triangles is also 1 is to 2. That is, area of triangle CDP is to area of triangle BCP equal to 1 is to 2. That means, if the area of this triangle is 1, then the area of this triangle is 2. Or, area of this triangle is 2 times the area of this blue triangle. In other words, Area of the blue triangle is half the area of the red triangle. Area of the red triangle or area of triangle BCP equal to 10 square centimeters. Therefore, area of the blue triangle or area of triangle CDP is 5 centimeter square. Now we have got the areas of all the four triangles. So, area of trapezium ABCD is 10 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5 or that is equal to 45 centimeter square. That means area of this trapezium is 45 centimeter square. Next problem. The picture below shows a trapezium divided into four parts by the diagonals. The area of the blue triangle is 4 square centimeters and the area of the green triangle is 9 square centimeters. What is the total area of the trapezium? Let us look at the figure. Now let us give a name. Here ABCD is a trapezium. Therefore AB and CD are parallel lines. We have seen that the area of these two triangles are same. That is area of triangle ADP and area of triangle BCP are equal. Let us take it as x, that is area of this triangle is x and area of this triangle is also equal to x. Now look at triangle ABD, the line from the vertex A to the side B, that is AP, divide this side and the area of the triangle in the same ratio. That means the ratio of the areas of these two triangles and the ratio of these two parts are same. That is DP is to PB equal to X is to 9. Now look at triangle BCD. The line from the vertex C to DB 
that is CP divides DB and the area of the triangle in the same ratio. That means the ratio of the areas of these two triangles and the ratio of these two parts are same. Or DP is to PB equal to 4 is to X. Now see DP is to PB equal to X is to 9 and DP is to PB equal to 4 is to X. These two are same. That means these two are also same. That is X is to 9 equal to 4 is to X. When two ratios are equal, product of the end terms equal to product of the middle terms. That is X into X equal to 9 into 4. X into X is X square and 9 into 4 is 36. So we get X square equal to 36. Therefore X equal to 6. That means area of this triangle is 6 cm square and area of this triangle is also 6 cm square. So we have got the areas of all the four triangles. Now to find the area of the trapezium it is enough to add all these areas together. That is 9 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6 or that is equal to 25 cm square. That means area of trapezium ABCD is 25 cm square. We have done all the problems and we have completed the first chapter. Let me know your suggestions and feedback through the comment box. If you like this channel, please subscribe and share. In the next video, we will discuss the second chapter. Till then, bye.